we we basically believe in the basic concept and that is that every day we need to make the most of it and this is part of how we do it hi everyone my name is madison and this is my dad david and we decided to put together this youtube channel called the outdoor cool factor um we've been camping pretty much my entire life he's been camping for a bit longer than that um everywhere from tent camping to pop-up camper camping to big fifth, you know fifth wheels and all of that um we love gear we love the outdoors and we just want to share those experiences we want to give you advice we want to do reviews on gear everything that comes with it um but the reason why we call it the cool factor is it's kind of been a joke for years now um that something has a high cool factor or a low cool factor and that's really from my dad so i'm going to let him explain a little bit of that then I'll explain how we're going to implement that in our videos. So I have, as Madison said, been camping for almost my entire life, ever since I was a little kid. And through all those years, I have, as you can imagine, I have bought and used a tremendous amount of different camping gear and different things. Um, not always did I buy them because they were necessarily necessary. Sometimes it was just because I liked them. I thought that they were kind of neat, fun to use, made camping easier. And I started this sort of joke with the kids when we were younger, where I would say, I just really like it because it has a high cool factor. And that kind of stuck with them. And so every now and then, whenever, you know, we would be talking about something that I had bought new, uh, they had asked me like, you know, hey, why did you buy this? And I was like, just because it has a really high cool factor. And they would laugh at me. And so that's where the concept came from. The basic concept behind it is, is that uh, sometimes we, it makes camping easier. Sometimes um, I just like it. And therefore, I just think, you know what, for me, uh, I think it's cool. I think it's neat. And so I kind of rate it with what I've always called the high cool factor. And that's where the concept is came from, or the concept came from. And... Um, and that's what this whole channel is about now, where we're trying to sort of use that as our measuring tool to help other people understand, like, you know, what kind of gear do we use sometimes? What experiences do we have that we feel like um, are fun, uh, not always perfect, but or necessary, but just ways to make the experience more enjoyable, more fun, more enriching. Um, we, we basically believe in the basic concept, and that is that every day we need to make the most of it. And this is part of how we do it. Exactly. So yeah, we're gonna have two different cool factors, basically. One is for products and one is for experiences. Um, we're gonna have a level of criteria, which I'll explain here in a second. Um, and then we'll rate it based on that criteria. We'll explain um, why we like certain things and then give it a, a one out of five star rating. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing. Now, if it ends up, doesn't end up on the cool factor at all, then it wasn't worth it. We don't like it. It wasn't the, quite the experience we wanted out of it. But even if it's a one or two star at a cool factor, it doesn't mean it's not cool. It's just not as cool as other things. Yeah, and we don't necessarily believe that um, uh, if we give something, say, a one on the scale of a cool factor, uh, that that means it's a bad product. It just means that we're not as cool as other products that we might have liked or other experiences we may have had. If we give it no cool factor rating, then that means it's something we would probably never use, <laughs> never try again, yeah. uh, or never you know, do again. Um, and so when we are rating something on our cool factor scale, it's purely things that we really truly like. And they vary a little bit you know, as far as uh, how much of a cool factor that we give it. Uh, means we like them and we enjoy them, whether it be a product or experience, uh, either way. Um, but we're kind of giving them a higher rating as far as how cool we really think they exactly. are. Exactly. So we spent some time trying to figure out how we were going to set the criteria up for the cool factor. So like I said, we have it divided into two different things, which is products and experiences. So our criteria for products is utility, multi-use, necessity, how easy it makes life, and overall coolness. So him and I will both have um, the reasons why these, you know, the product fits within a certain criteria, 
and then that will end up being what our five star rating is. Now we will each do it because we have two different kinds of camping. We have different perspectives and some things might matter to one of us and it doesn't the other necessarily. And then for experiences, this is gonna be for campgrounds, um, activities, things like that that we're also gonna be making videos on. So that's gonna be under the criteria of accessibility, amenities, scenery, how easy it is to visit slash do, and overall coolness. Again, that will come with a five star cool factor rating and we'll explain why. So you might be wondering why cost isn't a part of this. For us, the money doesn't always have an impact on whether something's cool or not. Now, obviously more expensive things tend to be cooler, um, but sometimes we've found some really cool cheap stuff that's way better that even if you could spend 10 times the amount, we wouldn't anyway. And that's what we wanna do to you. We wanna bring you the no BS version of what the reviews are, whether it's products, experiences, anything, um, pretty much anything outdoors. Yeah. Yeah, and like she said, we um, cost isn't always a factor to us because there's been times where we've been willing to spend more money for something because we really gave it a high cool factor and we find it to be very useful. It made camping and outdoors and activities more uh, enjoyable and easy. And there's been times whenever we've looked at different things that we've used and we've like, you know what, it's not worth spending the extra money uh, when there's alternatives that you could get almost as much value for a whole lot less expense. So we don't really try to factor that into our thought process, whether we do it or not. Sometimes we'll use it to justify spending more money if we really like and we really find that product or experience more enjoyable. Exactly. Um, and like I mentioned, we have two different camping styles. Um, I have an overlanding rig. Um, I have a 2007 Toyota Tacoma with a rooftop tent or it's a bed rack tent, an awning, and I fully tent camp basically. Um, for me, I have different perspectives and gear and experiences matter differently to me, not only because of my camping rig, but also just my personal preferences. And then he has a camper, which he'll tell you a little bit about. Yeah, I generally RV camp more than anything now. Um, you know, we've been through the whole gamut of camping experiences. Um, we've started out tent camping. We've been through pop-ups, travel trailers, fifth wheels all the way back down to a little tiny teardrop camper. Now we're in a small 20 foot travel trailer um, and, and that's what's comfortable for us. However, the overlanding experience has really brought a lot of new elements to outdoors, uh, which gets people to places that I can't go. That's why the experiences are different. The gear use is different and how you, uh, what works in these different applications is gonna be different. So we're gonna give you guys a comparison between those two uh, from different perspectives. Plus, I'm also old, so I look at things differently than the young kids do. Uh, so we're, <laughs> you're gonna get a little bit of that experience difference as well. Um, but that's kind of the concept behind this entire channel. Exactly. So we're so excited to bring you these videos. We've already been recording videos all weekend. We're up at Glendo State Park right now. Um, oh yeah, and also we're out of North and Northwest Colorado. So we do a lot of local trips. But we have some other trips. We grew up in, or I grew up in Texas. He grew up in Texas. Um, we did a lot of my childhood camping down there. So we might venture down there. We've got a lot of experiences that we'd love to share with y'all. And we really can't wait. Um, also, this is a good excuse for us to do cool stuff and spend time together as yep. father and daughter. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and our camping experiences in Texas, we've discovered how very different than they have been in Colorado. Yeah. The way we camp here and the things we do here are very different. And it's also just isn't about camping. We've gotten into skiing mm -hmm. and more, you know, a little bit of hunting now. Yeah. Um, you know, um, just anything. Hiking, biking, yeah. anything on the water. I mean, and love, also hopefully this opens up opportunities for us to try new things too, which I think it could be really fun. Like I said, we bring in different perspectives, but also we're best friends. So it's gonna just kind of make it fun for us to try out new stuff. Absolutely. It should be fun. Yeah. Enjoy the ride with us. Yeah. Thanks, guys, and continue watching as we bring you some pretty awesome videos. Bye.